Hi Glamazons, welcome back to my channel. I'm Makita, founder of GlamazonDiaries.com, your destination for size inclusive fashion, lifestyle, travel, beauty, as well as wedding planning. So today's video is something a little bit different. It's short and sweet. It is to support all the small businesses that I love, um, that I'm sure you're going to love as well. And these are some brands that you've seen me wear on YouTube as well as Instagram if you follow me on Instagram. Before we get started, please give me a thumbs up on this video if you love it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. Um, and if you are, please make sure that you have the ring notification button on so you're alerted every time I post a new video. So let's get started with this small business the first brand is actually a beauty brand and that is what I'm wearing right now. It is a brand called B. Simone and they create these gorgeous velvety lip stains. Um, I'm currently wearing Baby Girl right now. And it's this beautiful red color and it does not lift at all when I wear my mask. So um, I love the packaging. This is the packaging um, and it's super, super affordable and they're currently having a Black Friday sale. I have a few of their colors, but these two are my favorites. Um, Link in Bio is number four. It's a little bit jarring at first, but with a lip liner, it looks absolutely amazing on the lips. Next up are jewelry pieces that I love, and this first one is by The Pink Reef, and it is a Alexandria, Virginia-based brand. Uh, she makes these super cute, elegant statement earrings. I have a few pairs, but this is my latest um, addition to my closet. Everything is handmade and it's definitely a statement. I have a few pieces from her and all of them just, they look so good on. Most of Pink Reef's collection is under $200. A lot of statement jewelry and they're made locally in Virginia, which is my home state. So definitely supporting that there. The next brand is one that I have worn for the past two years and it's called Never Not Retro, based in New Jersey. And it's these extra large hoop earrings that I am obsessed with. I've worn them to death and I probably have to get another pair just so that if she discontinues these, I'll know that I have another pair for me. Um, these are not too, too heavy. Uh, if you're not into big statement ones like this, she has other pairs, the same style but small. This one is $49. And the smaller the earring, the smaller the price. She has a lot of pearls, a lot of fun earrings, hair accessories, and um, I really, really love them. And she can also make custom for you if you're interested. Another jewelry designer that I'm obsessed with is Mignon Gavigan, and she is a New York-based designer, and she makes these beautiful earrings. Definitely a statement. These ones are the Madeline. I have the rose gold and silver. I wear these all the time. It comes in so many colors, and it's under $200. I think you probably have seen them on a lot of celebrities, but these are my favorites. And I actually, she has a cream version that I want. I wish she would make it in white for my wedding. Hit Mignon Gavigan. Maggie, please make me one. The third and final jewelry designer or jewelry brand is Danny Joe, and also based in New York. These pearl earrings are my favorite things right now. I wear them pretty much all day long. They're super comfortable, not heavy at all. And I actually got these during the um, 260 sample sale. The next brand is all about hair and it's the hair accessories from this company called Bellfix. Bellfix launched in August of this year and it's a Philly based brand, women owned business. And they have the most darling hair accessories. Everything is under $25 and they launch a new collection every month. These are from the City Collection as the Knotted Vegan Leather Headband. I have it in black and the snake skin. So pretty and they're having a sale right now. Um, I think three headbands for $30 but I have this one as well, the braided snake skin and this was from their Safari Collection. Um, one, of the, one of my favorite things from them is actually their extra large scrunchies and I have this one as well as the vegan leather one that I use whatever I have I wear a bun I just put it on and it just zhuzhes up my bun so these are perfect for stocking stuffers perfect for the girl who loves to accessorize as well as and I'm also getting these for my nieces because they love hair accessories so much so yeah Belfix is another brand that I generally support the next brand is called Swatch Hub and the creator is Brianna. She is based in Brooklyn and she creates these fun ornate masks that look so good on. And so Swatch Hub, I own several of her masks and I always reach for them. 
So I just hand wash these so that the beading does not fall off because she pays such special attention to detail um, in terms of stitching and making sure that all of these look impeccable. I mean, look at that. So beautiful, right? So we've got our masks and now we have our mask chains. Um, my friend Lara from Pretty Connected created these mask chains and they are the perfect way to secure your mask, especially when you're on the go. Um, and you just clip them onto your mask like so, so that you keep your mask readily available. Sarah Jessica Parker is a huge fan. So many celebrities are huge fans. So this one is actually called the Makita. She named it after me and it comes in a white as well. But this mask chain keeps your mask on so that if you're running around, you're not touching your mask, moving around, it's just hanging around your neck and when you're ready to use it, you just put your mask on like this. So the next brand is Lofla Randall, a New York based shoe designer that I love, love, love. I have a whole bunch of her shoes. These are my favorites. These are the Emilia. Um, they're these gold lame knotted bow sandals. Very easy heel to wear. So this shoe is the perfect walkable shoe. It comes in a whole bunch of different colors and different heel heights. I also have the Camilla, which is a wrap around the ankle. Same sort of bow around here, but each of them is hand pleated in New York City. So it's just special knowing that somebody is actually making your shoe. And for Lofla Randall, their special right now is if you donate $10 to um, Campaign for Hunger, you get 20% off of your purchase, which is such a great cause. My next shoe designer is Tabitha Simmons. She is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite shoe designers ever. I own way too many of her shoes to it that I would like to admit, but I love Tabitha Simmons shoes. I have some statement ones that are like not very walkable. They're door to door shoes, but I also have her practical ones. These ones I got for uh, more of my bridal shoots. This white pair, really, really nice. All her shoes are made in Italy, crafted so well. And I've had, I have shoes from her that I've owned for about seven years now and they still look amazing on. And Tabitha's having a seal right now, it's 75% off. That is a huge steal. So make sure you check her out. The next designer is Mia Bacar and she's Los Angeles based and she creates these gorgeous shoes. I mean like gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, this one is, my my actually this is my first pair and it is a metallic shoe but what makes it so special is the heel the heel is so pretty structurally gorgeous and it's very very comfortable it's four inches but it feels like it's three and a half inches um i love these i've worn them a few times and i'm going to show you and start a photo here for you or here for you to see what it looks like on but these go with so many things, especially around the holidays. They go with a lot of um, reds, metallics. For New Year's, I can see myself wearing this. Even if I'm not going anywhere, I'm going to be sitting in the house wearing these looking sexy for my man. Sarah Flynn is the next designer that I love. And she creates practical yet beautiful handmade shoes also made in Italy. These are my favorite ones right now. It's called the Perfect Pump. She made these in this color for Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex. It was so highly requested by her fans and Sarah Flynn's customers that she made them for actual, for us to wear as well. What I love about these shoes is the fact that it's padded in the insole, so it's super, super comfortable. And I got it in the three and a half, or I got in the three inch heel, but she also has a three and a half or a four inch that's a lot taller, but I want to be practical and yet still cute. So this is my go-to pump. I love the burgundy color. It's gorgeous as a statement and it looks really, really good with a lot of my fall pieces. I also have two candle brands that I want to show you. So the first one is Rise Scents and it smells, at, oh my God, so divine. So I got a few of her candles. I love this jar. It is so beautiful. Um, it has faces on it. I mean, look at that, how cool. Her pumpkin spice latte smells so good. This one's the bergamot and it's divine. I love this and it's super, super affordable, under $50. And she's also having a sale on some of her candles. So make sure you're supporting 
her as well. Um, I love candles. I have a whole bunch of different candle companies that I I support. Yes, I love my diptyque candles, but I love to you know support local brands, local artisans. And this next one is actually based in Fort Worth, and it's White Rock Soap Gallery. Mm, this one is the Spice Fig. It smells divine. Like you don't need to burn it a lot. It just immediately just makes the entire apartment smell so yummy. I have two of their scents. I have the sage and the sage is really, really good. It's lighter. So I burned that one in the bedroom, but the spice fig is in the living room, kitchen area, and it just smells amazing. I've been burning it quite a little bit, um, but this is another one of my favorite brands. I hope you enjoyed this video and discovered some new designers that you are going to love just as much as I do. I did this small business haul because I want you to support these businesses throughout the year. These are designers, small indie designers that are still thriving despite COVID and it's so important for us to support them. These designers are definitely some of my favorites and I'm going to link all the other ones in the description for you. I'm also going to include a link to a blog post I did on all my favorite black designers so that you can also shop them as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you loved it. Leave me a comment, questions or concerns in the comment section. I love reading them. I love replying back to them and let me know if you have any ideas for video topics. I would love to hear your thoughts. Until then, please have a great week. Enjoy the holiday season, and I will see you in my next video. All right, bye.